Okay, today you are staying with a special program, a special discussion with Max Television. So today we are going to talk about a special service. Actually, it's a great project and a great service that they are uh, doing to Sri Lanka and they are basically targeting the poor people in Sri Lanka. So first of all, I'm going to introduce the two of gentlemen, Mr. Hans Fedrik, and he's a lawyer from Denmark. And, um, and he's representing the charity organization of Medicine Without Borders. And uh, also Mr. Taryn Constantine, he's also staying with us today. And uh, he's, from, uh, he's from charity organization which called the Little Aid and it's registered in UK. So first, uh, I'm going to ask a question from you, Mr. Hans. Uh, could you just uh, explain me about the charity organization of Medicine Without Borders, and what is the history of this charity organization? Thank you. Denmark is a very little country. The population is only uh, 5 million. But nevertheless, uh, we are destroying about 8,000 tons good medicine uh, directly from the drug firms uh, to destruction every year. And uh, two, three years ago, uh, Mr. Thomas, who is a professional pharmacist, uh, found out that uh, this should be done better, and therefore he started a program. And soon after, I was helping him. The uh, way we do is very simple, because uh, we make an agreement with the drug firms ask them uh, to contact us uh, before they send the medicine to destruction and when we have the uh, list, the destruction lists, then we send it to our partners uh, in Africa and Asia. Uh, today it is uh, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Zambia, Afghanistan and Sri Lanka and we ask them to give notice to us which medicine they can use. We only donate medicine uh, which we are sure they can use because the use of medicine in different countries is not the same. Some medicine may, might be on one country's uh, list of essential drugs uh, and uh, another country it is uh, different. And uh, when we have acceptance from the countries, we just uh, give notice to drug firms and we ship the, uh, the medicine from the drug firms directly from the storage to, uh, the, uh, to the country we have been dealing with. And that is very short, very simple, what we are doing. The only problem uh, is to finance the shipment from the drug firms storage to uh, the country, and, uh, but it is not very costly. For instance, we have sent uh, the first shipment to Sri Lanka, it was more than one tons, and we sent it uh, for uh, only uh, by, by uh, air freight, we sent it for uh, about 4,000 US dollars. And this is not a very big amount, considering that the medicine had a value of about uh, one point two US uh, million uh, US uh, dollars. Okay. Right, okay. So uh, now I'm going to ask a question from uh, Mr. Tarin Constantine. Could you just give me a small explanation about your charity organization today? You're representing the organization of the charity organization of Little Aid. Could you just tell me what is the history of this charity organization and what are the objectives of uh, your organization? Sure. In March two, 2009, we were invited by Sri Lankan Foreign Ministry as a diaspora delegation to visit to Sri Lanka and to see the improvements of the country and uh, uh, about the general situation. So since we came here in March, uh, we were asked to explore the possibilities of helping the country in whichever way is possible. So in fact, when we went back, we formed uh, organization called Little Aid is a registered charity in the United Kingdom, which uh, consists of uh, six members who, from all ethnic minorities in Sri Lanka, which is uh, Muslims, Sinhalese, and Tamils, mainly to help 
the, initially to help the internally displaced people. He started to work with Waunia, and initially we were we sent vegetables, made us, uh, sorry, vegetables, uh, garments, and milk powder. That was in May, June, July period, uh, mainly to the Chetikulam camps. So it was coordinated by the government agent and with the great help of the government agent of Bolivia, with his Charles, uh, we managed to do that. Since then, we, we, we were exploring the possibility of obtaining more contribution from other charities. Within that process, uh, we managed to get, get in touch with uh, Medicine Without Borders in Denmark, who gratefully, gratefully contribute, accepted our request and said they will contribute medicine. It started as a uh, very small conversation. Within four months, we managed to obtain uh, medicine worth of 2.5 million US dollars worth of medicine to Sri Lanka alone. I think it's a great achievement and great contribution by Medicine Without Borders. Now, we are expanding our uh, delivery and distribution from Wawunia to Navalapitiya, Jaffna and Mana, and within, in the near future we will also explore the possibility of other hospitals and other centers we can work with within three months. Okay, uh, as uh, Mr. Tarin mentioned, uh, you have given, you have given 2.5 million US dollars worth of all medicine to the people, to the poor people who is living in Sri Lanka for the last four months. What do you have to say about this major project? What do you have to say about this service? We hope that in the future we will send more medicine, of course, to Sri Lanka. Uh, first of all, because of the need. Uh, we have seen these days there, are in, there is in uh, Sri Lanka, but also because uh, it is very important when you are doing uh, projects like this that you have partners which you can trust and we think that we have found a uh, little aid a very reliable partner uh, they are uh, very interesting and responding very soon because um, uh, we uh, want to to send to ship the, the medicine as soon as possible and they are very eager to answer us very soon Okay, so uh, I would like to ask again from Mr. Tarin, what is the relationship between the charity organization of Little Late and the charity organization of uh, Medicine Without Borders? Basically